babes, what is up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. Look at me in all my morning glory. I started off today super early. I woke up at like 6 a.m. to take a quick shower. I just finished up my makeup and I was gonna go ahead and style my hair, but to be honest, the inside still feels a little bit damp, so I need to give it a bit more time. Let's go ahead and make a breakfast in the meantime. Hopefully having my hair in a bun will help like the bottom part here dry up. And then I'll show you guys how I get my everyday waves because today's video is actually sponsored by my favorite hair tools that I actually use to do my hair every day. That is SRI or the Skin Research Institute. I get questions on my everyday waves all the time, so I'll show you exactly how I do it. Today's video, we are gonna be doing so much organizing of everything in my house that really needs it because two days from now, my parents are actually gonna be coming from Canada to visit me. I pre-cut my sourdough and put it in the freezer, so I'm just gonna toast this up. But something that has been bugging me about the house that I've been wanting to solve for so long is our organization issues. We've got really, really tiny closets in this home and I want everything for their stay to just be super organized and functional. And I know, I know, it probably seems like it's not a big thing, but let me show you. The main thing I wanna tackle today is this pantry. Right by the fridge, probably Probably the smallest and most annoying of pantry to ever deal with. It is so hard to keep this clean. It's got like this kind of closing door. I have so many different ideas on how I can make this cute and functional, starting with recovering these ugly wire racks. I mean, have you guys seen pantries like this that have gorgeous wood shelving? That was always my dream with this pantry. So I came up with an idea that I think will be incredible if this works. So many of you will probably want to recreate it, but I basically want to show you guys a dollar store pantry made over that will take your pantry from looking like this to this. I know you've all got that little closet hidden away that you told yourself you'll tackle one day. Well, let's make today, after you watch this video, be the day that you make it looking great and functional. coming up with different toast combinations and this is by far one of my favorite. I know avocado toast with egg is nothing new but have you ever tried shredding a hard-boiled egg on top? And if you're wondering Haley where's the feta? We ran out. I need to get some more for sure. All right on to a quick tutorial of my hair. I'll tell you I love that I have some natural waves but I definitely have a lot of frizz so I always go in with this before I start. This is the SRI's Just Defrizz Hair Protectant. I spray this all over my hair. It smells so good. You can already see as I brush down it really helps to reduce my frizz and it's a heat protectant in one which is amazing. Okay this is their OG. It's my tried and true Inferos Titanium Styler. I can do so many things with this because of the shape. The waves that you guys see the most are these little ones. Let me show you a little bit closer up of how I do the curl. I just smooth out the root, I twist my hand outwards, then I flip it over and I just pull through leaving the end a little bit straight. And that's the wave that I'm left with. It heats up in 30 seconds. It's obviously great at straightening hair too. I just always prefer to wear my hair in waves. SRI actually launched a new product and I wanted to show it to you too. If you are somebody who finds it so frustrating to curl your hair, the Super Curl 3-in-1, it literally rotates you guys. It's got a little button so you can rotate curls left and right. You take your piece of hair, you clamp it down on the styler, and then you basically just let the wand do it all for you. It's got a beeping system that will literally beep telling you when to release your curl so that you never keep your hot tool on your hair longer than you need to. Now that I'm moving on to this side, I'm just gonna flip the switch so that it rotates the other way. Grab your piece, clamp it down, and rotate. I'm gonna wait for the beep before I release and just look at how perfect that curl is. And that is it, hair is done. But I am telling you, I am so glad that I found this brand. SRI has some of the best hair tools. I'm gonna link both of these down below. The three-in-one rotating iron is an amazing deal because you could actually swap out the rods based on what kind of curls you want. I use the widest barrel and it's definitely my favorite for those big voluminous curls. And then of course this one, like I said, is my ride or die. It's the one I always take especially to travel because I mean, it's just so tiny, thin, and compact. And you guys will just see how amazing these curls hold up this entire vlog. And how about we finally get out of these PJs, shall we? And get into my DIY clothes. And look who just came home. Not only do I have great hair, but he just got a haircut. Hubby. Yeah, you threatened me if I didn't get a haircut. You kicked me out of the house. I mean, babe, it was I look getting, like a homeless man. It was getting bad. Any magical changes in the house that I shouldn't be aware of. Um, let's just say that the pantry is gonna be looking a whole lot sexier by the time I'm done today. Do I need to do any lifting? No, nothing like that. Actually, no, no, kidding, no mirrors, no dresses, nothing. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. I will say that the pantry is one of the only sections in the house that is the majority of my stuff. Elon mainly just eats like the cereals up here and that's pretty much it. Everything else is either all my grains, my quinoa, my pastas, my oatmeal, and of course, a lot of the girls' snacks too. So I think first step, I'm literally gonna take everything out of here so we can see what we're working with and then I'll get into showing you how I make the little shelf covers. Thank you. 
No, but seriously, like, why do I have so many pastas? We did it. Okay, now we're gonna get to doing our measuring. Our neighbors are mowing the lawn, so excuse that if you hear it in the background. But basically the two measurements we're gonna wanna get is the width of the shelves, the depth of the shelves, as well as the measurement of the front little wire rack. So for the length, we have 18 inches. The depth, we have 16. And then the front piece is about 2.2 inches. And when you're seeing shelves like this, I'm sure that you're thinking it's super intimidating, especially if we're gonna be using wood, but we are not. I wanted something very sturdy, but still lightweight and still cheap, so I decided to go with foam board. This is something that I actually picked up at Dollar Tree yesterday. We've got four shelves, so I just got one foam board for each shelf. And this is what we're gonna be using as the base for our shelf. And then when it comes down to the shelf design, I decided to go with a wood finish because as you guys know, throughout our kitchen, we have a ton of like little wooden accents. So I thought it would be really cool. Plus it seems to look really expensive. So I got this wood contact paper off of Amazon. It's gorgeous. And it's even got a little bit of texture to it. So I think it's gonna look really authentic when we're done. But you could choose to do like a white wood grain. You could do a marble if you want to go glamorous so many different options for that and then other than those two things you're gonna need an exacto knife to help you cut the board a hot glue gun to put the shelf together and then obviously you don't need a ruler that's this big but anything with like a straight edge long enough for your shelf to help you do the measurements that would be really helpful well this by far turned out to be one of my most successful DIYs so listen up because this only took me a little over an hour to do okay so the poster board I'm gonna go ahead and make all of my measurements and I'm basically gonna be making two cutouts we're gonna have one cutout that's going to be the square that's sitting on top of the shelf and then one cutout is going to be what we're going to use to cover the front of the wire shelf i'm going to use an exacto knife to cut that off and basically we're left with two little pieces the middle piece and the front piece once you've got those two pieces we're going to want to stick them together i found that the best method to do this is using a hot glue gun specifically gorilla glue is really good i'm just lining the front edge and sticking on that front piece making sure that it dries in a 90 degree angle adding some extra glue on the other side so that it's super secure and i basically just did that to all four shelves so the shelf base is done and now we're going to want to recover it like i said i'm going to be using this wood grain contact paper and i decided to stick it on having the wood grain go left to right depending on how long your contact paper is you may have to do this multiple steps but the great part about this is that it blends in really really well i just prioritized to stick on the front first because that's what you're going to see and then you're going to slowly work your way down getting rid of all of those little air bubbles and of course wrapping it like a present when you get to the end as you saw the back piece was still showing so I just cut off another piece of paper and honestly this blended in so seamlessly that you couldn't even tell that it wasn't one piece since you won't really be seeing the under part i just left that white but that's basically it you guys i just went ahead and repeated the process on every single one of the shelf until i was left with four pieces used to cover this whole pantry okay you guys we officially did it i made the shelves and honestly they look freaking incredible these actually remind me of the wooden shelves that i had in my old home in toronto if you guys remember we had two wood floating shelves in the kitchen and like this contact paper just looks so legit to install these i had to go ahead and get the door open but there is actually a trick to it I kind of tried to like test it out and I saw that it was impossible to fit in the shelving and I'm like holy crap how am I gonna do this so then I just like played around with it and I realized that there's a certain angle you could do it that it does work and this is basically what it is you've got to like slant it in this way pull it all the way up and then you're basically just gonna like slide it down until you get to your right shelf shelf one ah, it looks so good shelf two Okay, you guys, this actually worked. I'm shocked. It turned out so freaking good. If I was even to fully take out this door and kind of have like an open pantry situation, that could be really cool too. Maybe if I had the capacity of actually keeping it clean, but I know over time the pantry will get too messy. But what do you guys think? That's literally nuts. And I think because we have a lot of like the wooden accents throughout the house, it is such a nice little detail. And I cannot get over the fact, you guys, that this only cost me $20. $9.99 from the contact paper. I'm gonna be sure to link it down below and $1.25 for each poster board and then obviously a hot glue gun that's all you need to do this and truly if you even have like a big closet like a linen closet that you want to do the same thing to just do the same thing and attach the poster boards together because it's laying flat on something it's super sturdy and nothing will happen to it but okay super happy with that and now i'm gonna go ahead and organize everything if you're looking for storage containers these are the most affordable it comes in like a pack of maybe 30 boxes of different sizes i think for 30 dollars and they've got super tight lids so you know that your food will stay fresh they're not as aesthetic 
aesthetic as the glass jars, but I do feel like these are more practical, especially if you have kids, because Aaliyah sometimes grabs things for me and she helps me out by getting stuff in the pantry. So I'm gonna restock whatever is low, but here's another little good tip. You can obviously like label these if you don't know what they are, I can just see it and know. But for specific things like rice or quinoa, where you wanna know the instructions of how to cook it, what I do is I actually cut out the label from the packaging and I just put some clear tape over it onto the box and then that way I have the instructions whenever I need. You could write the expiration on the bottom as well, but that's kind of like my pantry organization system. And then I have to tell you, when it comes to pasta, I've got so much and so many different kinds. Getting an individual box for each of these is just so unrealistic, especially because I have a ton of different shapes. The girls love experimenting with like different pasta shapes all the time. So I'm just gonna be keeping those in the boxes as much as it doesn't look aesthetic, it's the most realistic to me. And I guess that is something that a lot of people I notice do with their pantries. They want everything to like look nice and pretty, but then it's not practical. If you're going through pasta so quickly, it's gonna take you forever to constantly keep refilling a million boxes. A small space like this, I gotta maximize it. With cereal boxes, I do like putting them in these really tall containers because I just hate pouring them from the bag and they go stale so quickly. But I actually cut out the labels of what cereal it is because I feel like it really does help me with organization. officially finished and oh my god i am so obsessed with how this looks it literally looks like custom shelving does it not a 20 dollars upgrade like this i love it so much and it's crazy how customizable this is you guys can literally choose whatever contact paper you want to match your vibe honestly the only thing i got out of this is a little boo-boo i cut myself while cutting the foam boards but it's all good anyway the top over here we've got some cereals this is like my whole pasta section we've got like a bunch of different pastas in here like i said i keep them in the box because we go through them so quickly it really helps save space here we've got all my grains my cooking necessities so like my green beans my lentils my rice my oats all of that kind of stuff and then down here kind of like a miscellaneous section we've got canned products in the back things like taco shells and then a little bin of my gerber snacks for the girls that they love and then down here this is just going to be Eran's like protein section i may get a basket for that but it's easier to just grab from the floor but what do you guys think comment down below right now if you would like this diy if you feel like you also have wire racks and you would try something like this it was honestly so 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 easy to do and i'm gonna go ahead and post a reel on my instagram doing this so follow me on instagram if you don't already you guys can go ahead and save that reel for like easy quick future reference if you want to do this diy yourself i'm gonna link down below all the tools i used including these little pantry containers too and by the way you guys i know this doesn't seem like a lot for a pantry but this is really just like my food staples if you want to know where i keep all of our like snack staples then i just have that organized right in here i love using these like clear little bins to organize all of our snacks things that the girls will reach for easily and then when it comes to my spices i have to show you this because everybody loved it so much last time i did this but this is how i have all of my spices organized i basically have this little lazy susan with an acrylic shelf on top so i have a ton of storage for all of my spices i got all of these containers and labels from amazon that i'll link down below as well but it's literally so easy because i could just look for whatever i need grab it and then use it as i'm cooking and i mean these definitely need a lot of work but for a different day because i still have so much to do today i'm gonna go ahead and make dinner but i'm gonna show you guys how to do a one pot crock pot meal that you can set it and forget it. These kind of meals are my favorite, especially on busy days because I put everything in it in the morning and by the time the girls come home for dinner time, it's ready and it's piping hot and it's fresh. So I'm gonna make everything in my little crock pot. I'm gonna add in a couple of lentils as well as some red lentils because these ones thicken the soup very well. And in terms of everything else you need, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. For the veggies in this recipe, I am using two onions, a couple of potatoes, and then two carrots. And then to chop them up, I'm actually gonna be using my vegetable chopper. For the onion and the carrot, I'm gonna be using the small grid and then the chunkier grid for the potatoes. So nothing is easier to put together than this soup. Like you guys saw, I just cut up all of my vegetables. I diced them into cubes and then I'm washing up my lentils. Green lentils are gonna be the main base of the soup, but I love adding red lentils as well because they really help thicken up the broth. I'm grating in three cloves of garlic into that and now onto all my spices. If you wanna know the exact ones I'm using, I'm gonna leave it below. I just broke a spice jar. 
and I'm mad now. But anyway, back to this. I'm gonna put in some salt, some pepper, garlic powder, cumin, sweet paprika, and of course some turmeric, which will really add a good amount of color. You can keep this recipe vegan by adding in some veggie broth just like me, but obviously if you wanna add some more protein, you can of course use a bone broth base. Give that a good mix, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it on high for about four hours, and then I'm just gonna wait for it to start cooking. So I've got the crock pot set basically on high for four hours, but if you feel like too much of the liquid evaporating, you could always add more. But that's it. Set it and forget it. And in a couple hours, dinner is ready. Hi. Hi. It's done and it looks so good. Okay, come see, come see, come see. Ellen is the kind of guy that let's just say if something is not broke, don't fix it. So for you, you're like, what's the point of even doing this? It yeah. was fine the way it was, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But open it. Open it and tell me what you think. Oh dang. It actually looks good. Doesn't it look like real wood? That's that the craziest like part. Babe, this cost me twenty dollars. That's nuts. That's so awesome. I also just like that like now like it slides out. It slides so before that it would like get caught on the Yeah, floor. the wire racks because they have like those indents in between, they were so annoying. You like it? So see, sometimes it's not a waste. Sometimes. Sometimes. But in this case, no, in this, in this case, case it was good. And thank you. Hello. Pigtails, her hair is getting so Gosh. long. Look, you like it? Yeah. Ima did good job. Give Ima a high five. Good job. <laughs> hey, look, look. I know. It's, it's a Hadadaba. It's a Hadash. New one. New one. New one. You like it? It's pretty? Yeah. I made them some fried rice. Naomi already ate all of her berries. And guys, look at how amazing it looks. I think it needs like maybe another hour to simmer and we should be good. Ugh, but I can't wait to eat this tonight. Okay, luckily the soup was done in time and Aliyah wanted to try it. Aliyah, do you like it? It's tasty. It's actually her first time eating lentil soup. Usually anything that has like texture in it, she's not the biggest fan of, but I'm glad that she was willing to give it a shot. And by the way, this is what we put in our soup. It's called croutons. In Israel, it's called shkede marat. And these tiny little squares, they're yellow because there's turmeric in it, but they're delicious. They make soup so crunchy and enjoyable. Yeah. Look, look. You eating it? Yeah, you're eating the carrots too. Soups are legit the only way that she's willing to eat vegetables. Like otherwise, raw, she'll never touch vegetables ever. Raw, grilled, roasted, uh-uh. But in soups, it's a good way to hide it. <laughs> say hello, everybody. Hi, I'm too. It's so tasty. And say hi, Naomi. Oh, you want to say hi, to Naomi? It's so tasty. She wants you guys to say hi to Naomi. Say hello, everybody. We're going to bed soon, guys. You see the mess in the back? I'm telling you, I think I need to end like every single vlog showing you what a mess the house is because it's real life, isn't it? As much as our pantry and our drawers and everything look nice and organized, to have the actual house looking organized, it's a whole nother thing. Literally looked like a bomb went off by the end of the night. But I'm sure that I'm not the only one, right, Naomi? doing a little playtime with Aaliyah while I get a chance to finally have my soup. You guys look so good. I added in some fresh parsley because I really love fresh herbs. Mmm, so yum. With like a side of toasted bread, especially that you can go ahead and dip it into the broth. Such a good winter meal. Guys, what a day and I still have so much more to do. I don't know if it's just me, but anybody, if you have like your mom coming into town once you're like married and have kids, having your mom come over is like a big deal. Especially if you live far, like I want everything to be perfect for them. I'm gonna set up like the coziest pillows, the freshest bed sheets. But if you guys are watching up to this point, you are the real MVP. We love the ones who stick around all the way till the end. If you are watching up to this point, then comment down below, pantry heaven. Because honestly, you guys, I mean, this transformation has been one of my favorite projects and definitely one of my most affordable ones too. Let me know down below what you guys think of it. And let's just say this was definitely one of the few DIYs that Eran didn't have to be upset at me over because it was cheap and you didn't need to do anything. The best kind. For what? The best kind of <laughs> DIY. And can we just take a moment for my hair, you guys? I've literally been sweating, DIYing, cleaning all day and my curls literally look the same as when I first curled them this morning. Up until my next shower, I don't have to style my hair. It's the best. Both hair tools from SRI are gonna be linked down below there and I highly recommend you guys check them out because literally they've transformed my hair. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait to see you in our next one. Bye-bye.